I remember realizing that I liked boys from a very young age, but feeling so, I guess, ashamed or scared of it that I would actually tie a rubber band around my wrist. And every time I had a gay thought, I would snap the rubber band to try and crane myself out of being gay. From about the age of 14 to 18, I suffered from a very profound period of depression. And I felt very stuck, uh, not being able to, I guess, be authentically me. What impact did that have on you? Uh, Self-harm, binge drinking. The aim was never to get drunk. The aim was to throw up and pass out quick, more quickly than I did, you know, the week before. You know, yes, uh, drugs were a part of that as well. And it was all escapism. But you managed to get clean. You came out before the Beijing Olympics and then made history there. I mean, like winning an Olympic gold medal, best thing ever, highly recommend it. The most intense natural high you will ever have in your entire life. And it is no coincidence. So many athletes talk about an Olympic come down. I just fell back onto the last crutch that I'd used to medicate my feelings as a teenager, and that was hard drugs. Killing myself seemed like the easiest way to deal with this, because it seemed too hard. I couldn't do it by myself, and so I finally followed, well, I didn't have any pride left, but I just went to rehab, and that was, again, like one of the best experiences of my life. You went on to win Commonwealth Golds in 2014 before retiring in 2016, but most importantly, Are you happy in yourself now? I am happy in myself. I just celebrated five years clean and sober last month. I got married last year, so I've got a husband. He's really good looking. I mean, he's also a very nice man. I feel like there's so much anxiety within the sports community about being openly queer, but you just need people to lead by example. And the one thing that nobody will ever be able to take away from me is I became the first openly gay male Olympic champion. That's the achievement that I'm proudest of.